today was really awesome. We brought a lot of our leadership for our main heads of our departments. Um, you know, from digital strategy to data to the residential, the PM, the commercial side of the business. Um, and we were able really to kind of come together and talk about last year, talk about this, this coming year, uh, the good, the bad, the ugly, give everyone a chance to really speak their mind, um, you know, and talk about the wins, talk about the losses, you know, what we can do to make things better. And I really collaborate together to move this company forward. Just hearing everyone's passion and hustle and what they plan to do, what they have done, um, you know, what the company has provided and will continue to provide, um, it was awesome. I mean, it's like a dream come true to hear everyone's, you know, how bought in everyone is. I mean, that's just everyone's, I mean, at least my dream as a leader. Uh, but again, you know, no company, the company's not built by one person, it's built by a team. It's built by you know, strong people with the will to win. Um, and, you know, just hearing all the obstacles and all the problems that we've had to go through to get here, um, you know, look, there's no losses, you know, there's only gains. Uh, so we learn from these problems. We learn from these obstacles. It's what makes us who we are. Uh, but I could not be more proud of the leadership that we put together, uh, that have come together and will continue to come together to grow this firm together as one. One love, I'm out. What's up? What are we doing today? We're gonna go go two homes to a client. Young guy, his first house purchase. He needs a real estate because he needs a place to live. But he's trying to angle it a little bit and uh, get a place that will actually give him uh, some rental income as well. At this point, I have several clients that are like that, which is basically help them build their real estate portfolio. Um, the easiest way to keep buying them and buying them in a shorter time frame is to buy every single one as a primary residence. Uh, you have to live in it uh, for at least a year, but the plus is you come in with a much lower down payment and a much more attractive uh, interest. It's 2022 now, man. Uh, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing it full time since my son was born in 2013, so since 2013. Going back to 2021, we kind of went through a wave of openings and a wave of closings, but again, I think the changes that we made in 2018 and 2019 and 2020, when the pandemic just started, still allowed us to stay consistent. Was it crazy? Yes. Was it nuts? Yes. Did you write a multiple offer on every single house? Yes. Were you the shoulder that the clients cried on? Absolutely. How did we do? We still did phenomenal. We did better than a year before, and a year before we did better than a year prior. So it's, it's crazy. I mean, 2022 started crazy. But I mean, we have like, I think over 30 deals on the under contract. So again, consistency is the key. All you have to do is keep doing what you're doing and figuring out where the money is parked right then and there. Once you find the money, it's easy. All right, so this particular one is a little bit of shot in the dark. Well, I'll be better capitalized, let's say in a year. I don't think you can save up fast. Wait, wait. It is literally as brutally honest as I can be. Um, the homes are appreciating at the faster pace than an average person can save. All right, let me ask you this question. Hypothetically, how much do you think you can save in a year? 30 grand. 30 grand? Okay. $800,000 home is going to go up in price 10% in a year. So next year, this home is going to cost $80,000 more. So you won't catch up. The, the appreciation going over what you're going to spend is only one of the factors. There's the second factor. The interest rate is going to go up. Yeah, certainly. Uh, if we don't find the type of home that you think you want now, what makes sense is let's not spend all your money, obviously. Maybe let's spend 50 to 70 percent of it, at least get you something. Um, because then you'll have a property. Whether you're going to live in it or not, no one cares. But then you'll have a property 
So you're not starting a year from now behind the ball. So your property also would have appreciated. Yeah. So you'll have equity. Hopefully you can build some rental income. So if your cash situation improves in a year, then you just go buy a second one. But waiting a year, and again, I don't mean to offend you. No one can save that fast. It's yeah. impossible because, you know, let's just take a random number. Somebody who's making hundred thousand dollars a year, if they can put back twenty five percent of their income, they really only save twenty five thousand dollars. Eight hundred thousand dollar home, if it appreciates five percent, it's already forty grand. So you're like fifteen thousand dollars behind. Plus, you got their interest rates going up, so you just can't catch up. The way you not really catch up, but quote unquote keep up with the Jonases, you get into one now. And then whatever factors happen, happens to your property as well. So you're building up the appreciation. You come back a year from now, you have equity, plus you have rental income. Now you can leverage this property to buy the next one. You get that one, you can live in it. Or possibly rent it out, but you would secure your loan as a primary resident. So it'll be low down payment, attractive rate. In a year, assuming you have rest of that money, in a year you can buy another primary residence. So then you make the first one an investment, but since you already have a loan on it, your loan terms don't change. That one stays the way it is. But you turn that into an investment, and then you buy another primary residence low down payment, low interest rate. Like literally, all I want is thumbs up, thumbs down. Better Money-wise, better opportunities are in Southeast. Whether you like it or not, I can't tell you. Yeah. All right, thank you as always. Thank you. Uh, so we get, we get report cards for every one of our agents. Is their lead performance for the past month. The ranking with the clients, how many times they pick up the call, how many appointments they make, and it all breaks down, averages out over the past few months. And uh, so I review this with my team once a month, basically making sure that we keep up the work, uh, nothing, don't go down on the ranking, just kind of stay in that. Uh, we have like minimum suggested categories, so we're trying to stay as close to the suggested as possible. Hovick, how can I buy a $700,000 house with little to no money down? You can buy in Montgomery County. Okay. So, at least for now, Montgomery County has a grant. It's $25,000 for first time home buyers. You apply for an FHA loan. $25,000 is 3.5% of the down payment that's required for an FHA loan. Because it's an FHA loan, you can get up to 6% of closing costs from the seller, which means you can get $25,000 grant, so that's your down payment put all of the closing costs into the loan and ask for it from the seller, and you get into $700,000 house for free. Well, it's not for free, you gotta pay for it monthly, but as long as your income qualifies, your credit qualifies, it costs you zero dollars out of your pocket. And very roughly, what would you say would be my credit score and my income to be? Uh, for this, you probably want your credit score maybe 620 or above. Uh, your income should be around 90,000. But there's also a qualification for the grant because they actually limit the income. But gen in theory, it's possible. You can work the number down. Instead of doing 700, do 600. So it all depends on what you make, but you do they do want good credit. It's usually 600 or above. Gotcha. Well, geared up with one sheet of tire after closing, so you know, the memories last forever. Okay, so we basically got a full day today. We got a couple properties going to settlement. We already did the final walkthrough here uh, a couple days ago, made sure everything was good. Then we got another walkthrough and then settlement actually at the property um, to make it a little bit more convenient for my clients that live in the area. And then we put a contract together really quickly and got an inspection before my clients close out of town, so hopefully that goes well. Yeah. 
smooth one, man. Uh, honestly, we've been working with them for about, mm, we met right after Thanksgiving. I met them the Sunday after Thanksgiving. We showed the property wasn't a good fit. We started talking, having the conversation, picked it up. They actually weren't eager to buy until the spring, but then after I, we consulted about, you know, mortgage deferment payments and also their two month break on their lease and what the uh, closing and cost implications were because of uh, the mortgage rates now starting to fluctuate in a, with a little bit of an uptick. Made perfect sense. We found the right home after about 10 to 15. Again, no pressure, just easy, smooth, show the properties, make them, you know, find what they want. They made the decision and we actually went after a property that was on the market for 60 days. Our luck, our bad luck, another offer comes in. They're traveling out of town. Steve hasn't seen the property yet. Marin has. We put the offer sight unseen without Steve seeing the property. Beat out the other offer with an escalation. And on top of that, you know, we were kind of a little bit nervous until Steve saw it because they were traveling for a week to the to Colorado. Came back in town, he saw the house. Everybody calmed down. He loved it, and we just kept pushing forward. So it was creative, aggressive. They trusted me with my strategy, and it all worked out in the end. Now we're rolling, baby. We are rolling. Settlement number one out of the way, headed to settlement number two. It's a big day, you know. Uh, we're heading right over the, the, the bridge, the key bridge that is, to Arlington. Woo, cold, it's cold, guys. Okay. So this property we put under contract right before the holiday. Negotiations went rather fast. Um, Emily connected through Zillow, through the Zillow app, and then Jake and I picked up the negotiations from there. It's pretty smooth. Um, it was sat on the market for a little bit. This house actually um, appraised much higher than uh, what we got the contract for. So, you know, we feel we got a pretty good deal on this one. And, uh, you know, here we are 30 days later. We paired them with a really strong local lender here that helped the process too with the VA approval. And, uh, you know, very excited. I think we do it to help our military vets. They're giving you 327.18 from January 1 to today to the wow. federal, everyone to get a copy of these documents. All right, guys, enjoy the house. All right, guys, congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man. You're gonna roll, dog. We're rolling, buddy. 2022, targets on my back that I welcome. And let's go, man. Rock the roll, man. We're at the home inspection pro process. Very critical, um, critical juncture in the transaction. So basically, what happens here is we're going to the property with a client. I kind of sit back, let the inspector do his thing. Uh, any questions that I have, I'll jump in and intervene. Once the inspection is done, then the client and the inspector kind of go over the report. It's a very, very important part. Uh, you know, deals are won and lost on inspections. Um, I don't want to sit here and say I'm the greatest in the world, but there's always a workaround. So I always look for outside of what is the issue, what is the answer. There's always an answer. There's always a, a way to resolve something. Uh, and that's probably why I use the inspector that I use. He just doesn't tell me what the problem is. He tells me how to fix the problem. Okay, because there's always a way to fix it. Unless the property's falling down. This is a condo, so it's straightforward. We went into this uh, transaction um, as is, and that was more of a tactic because we wanted other things in the contract outside of the inspection items because, again, this is a condo. Uh, there shouldn't be anything earth shattering. In a condo, you know, things that be you know of concern are windows, your HVAC, and your water heater. Those are the big ticket items typically in condos. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I missed it. GFI protected as required. Look what? No, I'm going to leave it. Good. Because to get rid of that is monumental. To get rid of which? This. Concrete. concrete one. Yeah, it's concrete. Oh, I like it. So no, we like it. I'm actually thinking about putting it in my place, Fred. Give me any pain on the sprinkler, fire sprinkler oh, edge, or they don't work. Fair. Okay. Gotcha. Paloma. That's it, yeah. I got that. 
What's condo for? No, swell. It's swell. swell. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's just stuff. It's just stuff. No, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially with. <laughs> Successful inspection? Yes, sir. Actually, you want this? That. It was a successful inspection. Every time you get to the inspection, it's a success because that means you're under contract and you're moving forward. Now it's about getting crafty and creative. In this situation, you don't need to get crafty and creative. You keep pushing forward. Nothing we can't handle. Just know that every house that you buy, it is not going to be perfect. But the main thing is, it's a home. And a lot of people say they can't have that. Let's go get some food, brother. Let's go. What up? What up? I always got the camera in my face. I don't understand. How's it going, man? I've hung out with everybody except for you this past week. Well, I'm in here, you know, building and building and plotting and plotting. I'm about to finish a big PM expansion, our property management division. We're hiring more people, staffing up. Uh, building our leasing department, building our maintenance division. So I'm really excited about that. Um, parlaying into that, we are launching front-facing. Uh, we've been doing commercial real estate for a long time, um, but now we are going to go out to the world and you know deliver our services and uh, and really show how commercial real estate should be done. You know, identify a couple properties down in Florida. Um, you know, we're on the hunt for. A certain particular property down there for our expansion uh, so just been building out models and and really seeing how we can take what we've built here down there so that's pretty exciting we got our per our final permit finally uh, for our patio we had to do some revisions with the county and we actually put in a, a, a revision request to make our patio larger uh, so we got that approval so i'm really happy about that usually you can't really get more space from the county uh, but our coffee shop internally is ready to go. When are we gonna hang out, man? You tell me. You wanna go to a basketball game? 